and Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. I don't even know who that is. I just hear the expression and I think I've Googled it one time. What up, it's your girl Mena. In this video, we are gonna be trying out a few new products, one of which are, some of which are from Huda Beauty. But I'll tell you all the items that are new and the items that I've had for a while that I'm just gonna infuse into this video since I don't have anything new in that category. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that. Also follow me on my Instagram and join my text community because it's free and you can join. Also make sure your notifications are turned on, hit the bell. I never say that. I just hope that you do, but that's not realistic. So here I am telling you, my lips are dry. We need to get moving on with this right here. And also comment, giveaways are random. I've got six boxes that I need to get rid of. So you never know if you're gonna be one of those winners, you dig? I need to get those out for the holiday, okay? Now we're gonna jump right in with my lip primer. This is Elf Cosmetics Lock On Lip Primer. I don't know if this is discontinued or what, but I also love MAC Prep and Prime Lip. I'll link both and you can grab whichever of the two you prefer. I always use a lip primer. I can't imagine doing my lip without a primer, even if my lip's gonna be glossy. I just, it's just a must for me. If you're wondering, this is my silk press in a ponytail. It's on its last leg, honey, but you know, she's showing up today. She's showing up today or whatever. This is all me, honey. Look how long it is. Ew. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna be trying this new foundation to me. I don't know how new it is. You can comment and let me know if you've tried this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way, 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation. I do have the other one. It's a shorter fat bottle. I imagine that this is new. Comment to let me know because I don't know. You know, I don't know what is what. This was sent to me. It's the color Tiramisu. Okay, this is oil free, oil controlling, waterproof, transfer resistant. Transfer resistant means that it's not gonna transfer too much. It doesn't mean that it's transfer proof because waterproof means that it's not gonna come off when it comes in contact with water. Transfer resistant. <laughs> Basically means that all your face ain't gonna come off <laughs> when it touches another surface or something. Like it's not gonna entirely wipe off. Understand that? Okay, so transfer resistant. Let's see, it's got how oh okay, it's got hyaluronic acid, alpine rose, coconut water, even though it's it's oil free. All right, so maybe it's a comfortable mat. Let's check this out. What I was mentioning to you before was I'm going to hydrate around my mouth since I am experiencing some dryness there. It's because of rosacea, it's because of my prescription. This is normal. Okay, this is very normal for me. So this is the Super Goop Glow Stick SPF 50 sunscreen, you know, sunscreen stick. It looks like a deodorant. It's so cute. And then I just rub it around my mouth. It's SPF. It's hydrating. It's great. So when I go like that, I don't feel any tightness. It's the tightness that I can't stand, okay? The tightness is indicative of dryness. Dehydration, excuse me. The tightness is indicative of dehydration. I already dampened my sponge, meaning I soaked it through and through. And when you have soaked your sponge through and through, you should be able to squeeze it all the way down to the middle and then it bounced back up all the way to the middle because you want the water to be where? All the way in the middle of the sponge, not just on the surface of it. Get it in the middle of the sponge, squeeze it, make sure you don't have anything dripping down. That's how you know your sponge is what? Damp and not soaked. Make sure you watch my video on sponges because I show you the difference between a soaked and a damp sponge and there's quite a difference, okay? So that's gonna be my primer today since this is an oil-free matte foundation and I don't wanna be so dry. I just did that and that's it, okay? No primer elsewhere. No, something to note with primer is I place it where I need it. So since I don't want to be dewy or luminous necessarily around my forehead, I'm not gonna put that on my forehead. Here's where I have the dryness and that's where I put the, found the primer, okay? Now, I don't know if this color gonna work for me. This was sent to me, let's check it out. Tiramisu, what colors are you wearing this? If you've used it, comment and let me know. I could. It is the winter time, so my skin has lightened up. I think I can make this work or whatever. I need to clean my brushes. Praise the Lord, it's just me using them, cause girl, I can't. Let me take off these earrings. Earrings, by the way, I'll link this these hoops below. I got my ears pierced. You know they look different, don't they? Cause I didn't have the second and third baby. So that's new. I felt like a baby going to get her first piercing, honey. Too funny. The first time I had my number two pierce, lady messed it up. Ew, now my ears being dry from the spray. Ew, crusty. I can't do it, huh? Mm -mm. We're gonna do a little bit of this, baby. It's a little bit of spit. Mm -hmm. That's all you need, just a little bit of your own stuff. Now my ears looking dry, because I have to use the spray to sterilize my ears, and the spray is drying, honey. Uh-uh, she didn't tell me that. All right, back of the brush. <laughs> all right, I'm using my Morphe E63, honey. Oh, I can make this work. This color is warm. Okay, so on the golden side, and it reminds me of 
Coco in the NYX Total Drop Foundation. The, the shade reminds me of that. So it's warm. And because it's warm, I already know that I don't want my concealer to be warm. And I may wanna go neutral with my powder. We discussed this when I talked about my powder, my top, what, six or five powders. Watch that video. We discussed how I put together the, I need to shave, okay? It's, I'm gonna do it for a shave. How I put together the concealer and the face powder based on what foundation I have on. Now, this is looking dewy off rip. Maybe it's because of the base that I put on, the SPF. It's looking dewy off rip for something that's mattifying. Because I'm thinking of NARS. NARS, you put it on. I mean, although when I did put on a, a matte, I was trying to smell it, see if I smell anything. When I did put on a dewy primer, it did look dewy at first and then it dried down. So let's see. I'm going easy on the outer part of my face because I don't want there to be any harsh lines, okay? And now I'm actually gonna wipe off the excess from my brush onto my paper towel in front of me. I always put down a paper towel, very important. And I always cut up some extras on the side. <clears throat> and now I'm blending, blending it to my the edge of my face and then my chin. I don't want there to be this harsh line of demarcation on my chin. So do that if you're not already doing that. Or actually tell me, comment on me, know, do you do that? Like do you, or do you just take a huge amount of foundation and just put it along your chin along your jawline this does it's a it's not so it's how do i say it it's a little bit thick but not not like a nars thick so like a soft matte nars thick meaning when i'm putting it on it doesn't move as easily but that's not a bad thing i'm just noting the consistency my skin still looks dewy i'm waiting on this to be more matte like where is it mind you i put nothing on my forehead so you would expect the forehead to at least look matte that's a lot of product so focusing right here in the middle in the beginning this is looking very warm i do see <laughs> focusing it right here in the middle in the beginning Okay, wiping off the excess from the brush and now going to the edges. Not wiping it around my edge. I already did my edges the best I could with this hair without putting too much product. Okay, so we're not trying to cake on the, the product on the edges of the face. Face. <laughs> of the face. It's never what I want to do. Ever. I do see this blemish, but I'm not I'm not in a rush to 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 cover it so much because I am gonna contour and the contour is dark, so it's gonna cover that up, okay? I definitely do put con the foundation under my eye because I want it to be even. I am gonna obviously put concealer there, but I still want that to be an even surface to go underneath the concealer. Okay, I'm liking how this is looking, but it's very it's giving me very much Zoeva dewiness. Where is the dryness? Okay, now for concealer, I have new concealers I've never tried in my life. Catrice sent me a box of concealers, which thank you to Catrice and I took out three that I think will match me. <laughs> Let me show them to you, they're so far away. So these are 18 hour, oh, we're doing a hydration again. Okay, let me, I'll discuss that in one second. These are 18 hour hydrating true skin high cover concealers with hyaluronic acid. These are waterproof. So hydrating and waterproof, okay. Now first comment below and let me know if you've ever tried these. I've never tried a thing from Catrice Beauty. I think it's called Catrice Beauty, okay? Or just Catrice. So let me know if you've tried anything. Now let's go over the colors. This is the color 90 and it's cool espresso. Here's the color 92, warm spices. I like the coolness of the tone. See, this is warm, more orange. I like how cool this is. Actually, they're both warm, but I like that this one is yellow. Yeah, they're both warm, excuse me. But I like how this one is yellow and not orange because my face is what? Already orange. All right, and this is the color 94, warm cocoa. Mind you, these are the last three shades in the whole lineup for this company. Now that last one is looking like my foundation color. See how it just covered up my scar? That's looking like a foundation, honey. Now I've never done a concealer as a foundation, but this would definitely take the cut. Let me hold on to this because I might want to actually try that out. Warm cocoa. All right, so for concealer to highlight, yep. I'm not gonna go with this one at all. Actually, now on my hand, as I look, see on the camera, it was looking orange, but see it's pink, excuse me. This is more cool. This one is cool and this one is warm right here. All right, so I'm gonna use the middle one. That was cool, cool espresso, duh, it's called cool. <laughs> all right, not gonna do warm spices, right? Jeez. <laughs> Now I'm confused. Wait, let me just watch it one more time and see what's... I'm not gonna do cool because see how pink that is? I'm gonna do warm because it's more yellow. I like the yellow, okay? All right, so for concealer, I'm gonna apply right to my face. I used to apply it to my hand first, but you know what? We've been doing things a little bit differently these days. So right to the face, this is hydrating. Now, if you have, if you have wrinkles under your eye, if you have dry skin, 
under your, let me do it one by a time. If you have wrinkles under your eye, I advise that you would use a hydrating concealer. And the reason is because a mattifying concealer, a dry concealer is going to settle right into them fine lines and you're gonna feel real crazy. You're not gonna like how it looks. If you have dry skin under your eyes, your mattifying concealer is going to settle right into your dry skin and you're not gonna be happy with how it looks. So if you or a skin under your eyes are not dry, nor do you have any wrinkles, you could go with either, depending on what you want. If you like for your under eyes to look hydrated, go with a hydrating concealer, and this one is looking good so far. If you like for your under eye to be matte, which is what I like, then go with a mattifying concealer because if you don't have dry skin under your eyes, you'll be fine too. But with a matte concealer, if you see my concealer video, you have to blend very fast. If you are using a hydrating concealer, such as this one, you have time to blend this. So you could potentially put this all over your face in all of the areas that you want to highlight and then go back around and then blend. You see how people do that? They'll highlight everywhere and then go blend everywhere. I don't do that. I just go section by section because sometimes I'm using a matte concealer and I can't risk going around my whole face and coming back. By the time I get back, it's gonna be looking real dumb, real patchy. And I just have a routine that I do. So I stick to my routine. So if you found that helpful, that tip, come and let me know. Cause I know that I use a lot of matte concealers, but if you have either dry skin or wrinkles under your eyes, you're not going to like the concealers that I tend to use. So always keep that in mind when you're choosing your products. Wow, so this is looking really good. I could actually go with some more coverage or maybe even a lighter color. Maybe it's more coverage that I need. Cause this is full coverage. This is high coverage concealer. I wouldn't call it high coverage. I would say that this is more medium to full. I wouldn't call it full at all, but I still like it. So here, we're going above the, on the forehead, down the middle of the nose. That's just what I love to do, baby. Do you still do this? Do you still highlight all these areas? Let me know. Now, because I want more coverage under my eye, I am going to leave that, especially since I know that this is hydrating and it takes time to dry. I'm gonna leave the under eye there and then apply my concealer everywhere else. I do still love to go under the cheek, honey. It just does something for me. It really does. And then it's the leftover on the sponge that I use to go right under the cheek bone baby right there now this one is not as pronounced because the color isn't as light and that's okay and now we do the forehead this does look really buttery wow and from what i remember i've seen other creators use catrice from what i remember it's a drugstore brand and it is really affordable so girl if you want a hydrating concealer honey here you go now, uh, shade options are not tremendous but you can find something that's going i think you can find something that'll work for you for sure Okay, okay, okay. Now my face is feeling very, very warm. Okay. Very orange, very yellow. You know what I'm saying? We're going to cool it. Cool it down. Slow it down. Ooh, watch out. Ah. We're going to slow it down with this uh, Toffee Tees from Fancy Beauty Sheets out. What you call it? All of that bronzer stuff. All of that, all of that, all of that, all of that, all of it, all of it, all of it. Okay. Using the Sephora 56 brush. Yeah. And uh, right here. Now, because this is cool. Cool. Okay. Uh, I would say neutral. Mm, yeah, no, cool. This is cool, right? It's not pulling any orangeness to it with this bronzer, cream bronzer. It's gonna come off a lot darker with this foundation than it comes off with other foundations. So when you think about the chemistry of putting all these things together, the undertones do matter because it just makes a huge difference. Like this is gonna look extremely dark on this with this combination, but we're gonna bring it all together based on the face powder that I choose. And we're gonna see, once I set my face, I'll know, I'll I'll be able to see what is missing and I can balance it out. It's literally, literally like editing a picture, editing a video, like we need to add more warmth. We need to add more cool tones to this. That's literally what I'm doing to my face. Isn't that amazing? Oh, makeup is just so fun. It's just so fun to me. You definitely need to be artistic. Hi. <laughs> Love taking the extra on the brush with another brush and just going down the sides of my nose. Now, even this, this is looking a lot pronounced, way more pronounced than usual. My nose contour does it never looks this way. It's because of the tone of the foundation and concealer. Mm. Now, the contour is looking crazy. Don't worry, we gonna blend that. That's why you gotta take your time, do your makeup. And for those of you who are not doing your makeup, for those of you who are not spending time learning how to do this, and you're spending a lot more time watching me, shame on you. Shame on you. Not for real though, like for every, okay. 
let's do this. For every video of mine that you watch, you need to do your face. I'm not saying you gotta do it along while you're watching me because that you might not be able to catch up and I understand that. But if you're trying to learn, hello, hi, you need to be doing it also. All right, this is Ilya. Ilya Radiant Translucent Powder SPF 20 and the color is Wakiki Run. All right, Radiant Translucent. We already did a Radiant Translucent with Tatcha. You know what I'm saying? And, and it came together. Somebody, got, let me not, I'm not even gonna get that person. I'm not even gonna get that person airtime. Forget it. That doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have this. This is radiant translucent, but it's given us, it's given a shade, like, uh, excuse me, it's given like a color tone, you know? Let's take some of this out on the cap. Hopefully it doesn't come out too much. Let's see. Okay, not tremendously. Ah, it's a light gray type of color tone thing. Okay, taking some on the back of the lid. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. All right, I'm using the Sigma Soft Blend number 60 brush. I'm a little bit concerned because this is looking, okay, so on the brush, even on the brush, it's looking like grayish brush. Brown? Wow, okay, let, let's not judge it yet, let's just see. Okay, so now we're gonna correct all this and keep our head down and make the crazy eyes, okay? So now we're blending over the harsh edges and look at that, voila, gone. blend over the harsh edges and they're gone. So I'm looking up so that I don't crease my eyes until I apply this, pressing it. I didn't take a lot, so I'm gonna get some more. <laughs> I'm gonna get some more, I just didn't wanna overdo it and then be, oh, I shouldn't look down too much. Okay, I mean, I don't see it. So it is translucent, just in the container, it's giving grayish beige or something, almost like a brown. Okay. Wow, okay. So it definitely is giving grayish beige on this side. What do you think? I don't know what's going on with this girl. I am putting it into the cap so I can very easily clean the cap off and then give this away. Uh, tapping off the excess, soaked up my brush. Ooh, let me do this again to make sure there's no settling into the creases directly under my eyes. And here we go. I'm gonna need to get a mirror to go real close cause I need to see what's going on over here. Always tap off the excess. Okay, so I do see a little bit of radiance, right? Not a tremendous amount. So it's not giving Tatcha Luminous Silk, all of that glitter. It's not giving that. But I do see some radiance, which to me is comfortable. Like I can, wow, it's giving like a, a neutral grayness to the face, but like not in a bad way. It's just that in order for me to use this, again, it's gotta be all the chemistry, right? It can't be when I've used a very neutral concealer because if my concealer is neutral, then I go use this, I'll be looking real gray, we, real white, real just ashy, just gross. So it has to be perhaps when I use a concealer that is very warm and I want to neutralize it out a little bit. Interesting. This is just leftover and also leftover. Wow. Ah, like, so let me give you a side by side with the Hula, Hula Toasted Bronzer from Benefit in the LYS No Limit Bronzer from LYS, right? So this is cool, okay? Red undertone neutralizes it, so this is a cool toned bronzer. Whereas this is a warm toned bronzer. Do you understand? Got some orange in here, maybe a little bit of yellow. So we have a warm bronzer, which is usually what bronzers are, warming. But this is called a bronzer, but because it's so cool, one could say, we, you know, arguably, this is a contour, you know? But I don't wanna confuse it too much. <laughs> I just wanna give you a little side by side. Oh, this looks amazing. I am so done. So since my face is still on the warm side, what are we gonna do when it comes to the face powder? Not a warm powder. Do you see that? If I go with a warm powder, my God, I'm gonna be looking like, what do they call that little guy? An Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. I don't even know who that is. I just hear the expression and I think I've Googled it one time. Okay, so I don't wanna be Oompa la 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 loompa. Okay, this is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the color 75 Hazelnut, but she warm, she warm, and I don't wanna go warm. I do wanna stick with the glowiness, so this powder will be good because it's not mattifying. But let me go with, let me go with Glow Wish. Glow Wish, I do have two colors. This is Rich 12 and this is this one's light, 11 deep. This one is good when I'm using a powder, a foundation that is too dark for me. So let me go here. Although I wanna go darker. I wanna go darker than this. All right, I'm gonna deepen my face with Kosa's Cloud Set. Yup, in the color Velvety. Can you tell? This is cool, okay? So let's go with this color, Velvety Cloud Set. In my brush that needs to be cleaned. And we are going to set. This is going to deepen my face a smidge. Oh, yes. Yes, 
So that neutralized my face a bit, okay? Because of the cool and the warm mixed together, we got a little bit of neutral. That's why in my kit right here, I keep a few options because depending on what I'm using, I gotta, I gotta be a little bit of a scientist, you know? So <laughs> love it, y'all. What do you think below? Comment and let me know. Now, I don't have a new highlighter, so we gonna stick to the old faithful, baby. This is Rare Beauty Luminizer in the Color Flaunt. I did restock up on her during the Sephora sale because She's just bae. Side note, it's mad nice outside. The sun is playing, it's dancing around in front of me. And I'm just like, okay, do you have to do all that though? I'm gonna be out there in a little bit. Like, that's okay. Okay, like chill. Back of the sponge, back of the hand. Here we go, pouncing it in. I will do a separate video on this. I know it's on my list to do to help you get more comfortable with using a liquid highlighter. I know that it's a scary concept. I know that I'm going very fast. It doesn't allow you to like know how I'm getting it right. I just can't take the time to <laughs> break all that down right now. <laughs> okay, but here we are. Essentially, I'm moving very quickly. Add some more on the side. Ooh, no, do you see that? I think off my sponge and let's blend quickly. Ooh, Jesus. Wow, the face is looking glowy, baby. It's looking real glowy. What you think about it? What you think about it? Come and let me know. All right, now the eyeshadow palette, let me just fix my face. I'll fix it later because I can't talk like that. My forehead is too tight. I'm going to be using this Huda Beauty Rose Quartz eyeshadow palette. This thing is gorgeous. I'm going to have to use this several times in order to really get, you know, get the full benefit of it. Now, because in this palette, we have lots of cool toned colors. Not one of these colors has any level of warmth in it. I'm going to need to because of what I like to do. I like to put warmth in my crease first. So I'm actually going to use a bronzer because I don't have another eyeshadow palette here that has a warm tone in it. So this is actually Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer, which is really nice. I could have even done the hula, but that's okay. All right, so I'm putting this right in here, but if you wanna recreate this look, any warm toned eyeshadow will work. Warm, something with, I mean, you might, this is actually, this is cool because it has red in it, but to me it's like warm because it's warming up the eye. Don't be confused, sorry. <laughs> All right, now I have my Cinema Secrets Pro Brush Cleaner, which dries instantly, pouring some of this container in front of me so I can limit the amount of brushes I'm using as I apply this eyeshadow. I'm actually gonna clean, let me clean this brush right now. So this brush right here is dirty. Putting it in, taking one of my cut up paper towels. Clean, 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 already look at that already look how clean so let's clean some more and it dries instantly smells really good kills 99 percent of bacteria hello oh, hi brush ready to use okay now i'm gonna use the color happiness because i think it looks pretty <laughs> all right i'm put oh giving a little bit of frosty you know like a little pastel but because it's mixed in with that bronzer it doesn't look so pastel right here in the crease which is between the brow bone and the lid color. All right, yeah, let me stop because it can go real left, although I need to balance this side. It can go real left because of how light it is. There are so many combinations that I can do with this palette. Let me try to go a little bit easy today. This color is, ooh, this color is pretty. Abundance, wow. I don't even know where to go. All right, in my crease in a tighter fashion, let me clean this brush really fast. I'm gonna use Mantra this grayish purple color. There's a mirror in here, I keep forgetting. And put it into my crease. I'm gonna go on the lid with abundance, but it does need to, it all needs to flow together, okay? Got some fallouts from the brush and that's fine. 
Ah, uh, but it took away the, the warmth. Okay, now this is extremely cool, which is what I do not like. Do you see? Cool, like it's just too gray looking. I don't see the warmth. So I'm going to put the bronzer back in the crease in a sec. We gotta build this up, okay? Cause right now it is not looking how I wanna look. So let's go. All right, this is looking so good already, yo. So, so good. So, I wanna do a purple liner, but maybe not do too much. I'm gonna do a purple lip. Let me not do too much. Let me just stick with black. I love using this Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Liner because it is a satin black, not a matte black. I love a satin black under my eye because satin just means shiny, you know? I love it, it just looks so good. I don't want it to look bland and matte. And now under the eye, I'm using the color Empowered. It's this frosty, it's a shimmer basically. It's dark, bluey, purple, gray kind of color. Do you see that? It looks so good. This is a very cool tone look today and I'm really into it. Wowzers, this is the color Blissful. Whoa, this color would look phenomenal on my whole eye. Let's talk about it. Used the finger to get more intensity from the color, putting it right up in here. And wow, what? Like, okay, now it's getting a little messy. Oh my gosh, I gotta use a brush. This is an insanely intense color. I need to clean this up, hold on. <laughs> God. Wow. This is looking like galactic or I don't even know what to say. All right, so I used the eyeshadow, the grayish purple one as a liner, which I just love to do. It really ties in the look, ow, ow. So I'm gonna use a Charlotte Tilbury 24 hour lift effect mascara. I never used this. Let me know if you have. Oh, it's called Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. Uh, ooh, nice and heavy. Have I used this before? I don't think I have. Okay, all right, on the top. Oh, all right, here's the wand. Okay, here we have the wand. No, who is still using, not that this is a bad thing, but who is just using mascara? Comment and let me know. Or are you doing falsies? Excuse me, I have not done a makeup look with just mascara in ages. And in my life, I've done it maybe a handful of times. Well, let me use that. Like when I didn't know how to do lashes, duh, right? But come on, that was like 15 years ago. Okay, I'm not over the moon about this mascara on my top lash line. I usually am not over the moon with mascara on the top because I put on falsies and like, I don't know, but the way this is coming off of the wand, it's not really floating my boat or finding my lost remote, but we are gonna see how this looks on the bottom. The bottom lash line is where I really test mascaras because I like for my bottom lashes to look bomb. This does look good though, it's not bad. This does look good. If you have it and you tried it, let me know. It does look good, it's just, you know, for me on the top, I'm not very easily like wowed. <laughs> Okay, so a lash glue that I have been using for several weeks now is this Kiss Super Strong Hold Eyelash Adhesive in the color black. Now, I wanted to wait to tell you about it because I wanted to get my handle on it. I had to get rid of the bonding glue, which was obviously just not a good thing to use. I mean, hello. I've been using it for like 15 years now. It's all I knew. It worked well, I had no issues, but I knew it was time for something new. Now with this, you it does come out in a, it comes out less, Bonding glue comes out more thick. It's a lot more product. It comes out gray and dries black. This one comes out black. So I have had a few occasions, on a few occasions, I don't even know that the glue is ready. Like right now, I think it's ready. I'm not even sure. So let me apply it because I don't be knowing. And that's part of the problem, but it does stay, which is nice. Okay, good. So that was ready. It still feels cold once you apply it. And that was ready. Yeah, so this one does dry a lot faster than bonding glue which is nice because, because the bonding glue application would be so thick, it would take some time to dry. I would sometimes have to blow it and do all of this. I don't have to do that with this glue. So let me know if you've tried this before. It's different. Okay, now bottom lashes. I'm gonna use my 
my tried and true lawless. But let's just do the Pillow Talk push up on the bottom lashes and see if this is gonna give Lawless one and done a run for her money. So far, it's a no. I mean, it's working, but it is not. Oh no, it's like not even, there isn't even enough product coming on the mascara wand. What is going on with this? No, I can't even see anything. It's a no. Ugh. Mm -mm. Lawless one and done. I'm gonna link it below because that's enough. See how much comes out? Oh, it's just so thick. Alrighty. Oh, I forgot I had a different mascara I wanted to try. Okay, well, next time. Okay, now for lip. This eye is so purple. I'm now wanting to go a different direction, but then I still wanna like use this. I can still do it. What do you think? This is Fashion Fair Chocolate Raspberry. Fashion Fair Chocolate Raspberry. Ooh, it's got a little frosty situation to it. Here it is on the inner part of my of my hand. I can get away with this because of the way that it is. I can get away with this. I think it'll look, I think it'll still look flattering. And these lipsticks are so hydrating. Oh my gosh. Just so like, oh yes. Oh, this does look gorgeous. This is different for me. Comment and let me know what you think. Ooh, ooh, and ooh. I like it. The purple on my eye is more cool toned. This one is more like pinky. So it, it's balancing in a nice way. What do you think about this look? I love this so much. Yo, this Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Eyeshadow Palette, totally gonna use this again and again. I have so many other ideas for looks. It's an absolute must. Love the way my face looks overall. I was going to spray on this Pure Lit Mist Illuminating Setting Spray, but I already look so luminous that I don't even feel like I need to do that. Like my face looks luminous. I don't see, mm, okay, now that I went like that, I do feel matte on my, around my mouth area yeah, but that's because I was dry already. I don't feel matte from the foundation. I don't know what that's about. If you try this foundation, did you feel matte with it? I don't feel it. The color it did come together because of how I mixed things together as you saw. So it did come together and I do like it. I'm gonna put in here my everyday use kind of folder. So I'll make sure I'm using that a little bit more. I like how this came out, honey. I cannot stop staring at the eye. I'm gonna record two more videos right now because this look is to die for, okay? Comment below and let me know how much you love this look and what aspect of it do you love? I can't stop looking. Let me stop, 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 okay? Make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, comment below and let me know what you like and love about this look. You never know, you might win a giveaway. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.